What are we getting into today? Let's find out. Today we're installing some package bees. What in the world is a package of bees? Well, this here is a three pound package of bees. There are three pounds of bees that are shaken from big hives, added to a cage with a can of sugar syrup and a mated queen. The queen here is mated, she's ready to go, and inside of the cage she has some attendants. They help keep her fed, keep her warm. A lot of folks have their own preference and opinion on what size box what kind of configuration is best. Here in Zanesville, Ohio, one of my favorite ways is to actually install packages into small boxes, five frame mediums or five frame deeps. That allows the, the bees to, to stay warm, and a lot of times it's still in the 30s and 40s at night when we're installing package. Uh, so it helps keep them kind of clustered down. The configuration that we're using here is five frame medium. We have some drawn comb, we have some starter strips, we have some full sheets of foundation. And what we're, after we get the package opened and before we dump the bees in, we'll set our queen down in the center. And then we'll use a deep, a regular deep, and we'll stick it on top. And it serves two purposes. When it's really cold, or if it's raining, or if it's nighttime, we can gently spray the bees down with sugar water, shake them into the box, and leave the lid on, put the lid on right away, and put a feeder on, and we're good to go. We can do that when it's a little bit warmer. If it's really cold, um, and, and it's raining and we want to, to minimize how wet or cold they're getting, we can literally just take this package, take the lid off, take the syrup out, take the queen, put her down inside, and take the whole package and sit it right inside of the hive, put the lid on, put the feeder on, walk away. So sometimes you have to install them at night, you have to install them in the rain, you have to do what you have to do. Today, luckily, it's not freezing cold and it's not raining, but I still love to use this kind of a box for a shaker box. So let's show you how we install these using a shaker box. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, give them a little drink of sugar syrup. It's gonna help them uh, stay clustered. They're not gonna be able to fly because they're gonna be kind of rolling around in the sugar syrup. So we're gonna go just give them a little, little drink here. A little drink here. So we'll go ahead and get our lid off. Save the lid. Can out, queen out, put the lid back on. Okay, so now what we want to do is take a look at our queen. Make sure she's living, running around. Look at her. She looks real good. The important thing to remember when you're putting a queen cage in is there's two sides. You have your emergency cork and your feed cork. When you install a queen in a package like this, we want to go ahead and remove the cork on the candy end. Now, keep that cork, put it in your pocket. If you're installing five packages that day, 50 or 500, you can count your corks and remember, and count them, make sure you didn't forget to take the cork out. So now what we'll do is I'll pick a piece of, piece of uh, foundation here that has you know, some wax on it that I can kind of use it as a wedge. And I'll just wedge her right in between there, right into the wax, just like that. Then we're gonna stick that down right in between the next frame. Okay. When it's really, really cold outside, like 20 degrees and you have to install, you can actually leave her on the top frames upside down, screen up with your shaker box, shake them in there and they'll hover over top and they'll keep her plenty warm. Now what we're gonna do is bump them down, shake them in. out in front of the hive. Now if you look, there's a big pile of bees and they're all inside of here. They're covered in sugar syrup and they're not flying all over the place. Blasting us, blasting the next hive. For now, for today, all we gotta do, close them up, put their feeder on top, they're good to go.
cage, cover back up. Okay, she looks good. Cork out on the candy side. Save the cork. Face down. We'll just stick her right between these two frames here. We've got our shaker box on. Shake them in. Okay. Move them out. Go on to the next one. Give them a drink. Pull off our lid. Save our lid. Here I can. Get our queen, cover her up. Take a look, looks good. Screw. Okay. Back to the bee yard guys. Today we're going to take off the shaker boxes on the hives that we've installed the packages on. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is just pop open the lid and we're going to look inside and you can see what has happened here. All the bees that we've shook are now all down inside of the frames. They're getting to work. We're going to go ahead and just take this box off, give it a little tap, stick it out front so any scragglers can come back home. And in they go. Let's see, let's take another look on this one. We're gonna pull the hive top off. And here we go. You can see how we've wedged the queen inside of the two frames. And all the bees that we've shook in there are now all inside. We'll just give us a light tap. And we'll carefully put the hive lid on. On these hives here, we did the two way package splits. Let's take a look and see how they're looking. Okay, this one's got a good amount of bees in there. Take that off, put it out front so the stragglers can walk home. I'll go ahead and smoke some of these and put that on top. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. There you go, it's looking great. Two-way split. Sometimes, sometimes they'll drift and you'll have some that won't, won't be a lot and we'll have to balance it out from another one. A lot of times they look just like this. So it's a risk, You're taking a risk there. If it pays off, you can double your size there with very little extra resources. Take a look at this one. This one looks beautiful. We only had the one out of all those that looked a little light. So we went through all those two ways here, all those two ways there. So only one half of one looked a little bit light. So that's pretty good. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that one and probably just balance that out with some extra bees here. We'll just take these extra bees here. We'll just leave the lid on this one. Close the entrance on these guys so they stay put. We'll open them up a little bit later. That looks great. So that was a really good package installation uh, everything went well. All the two A's so far are holding. All the queens are covered with bees. Uh, out of all the risky uh, two-way splits that we did, only one of them looked light. So we balanced that with some of the drifting on the one. 
So we'll keep an eye over them now the next week, make sure they've got plenty to eat, plenty of feed, and before long, these packages will be ready to make honey, and, and a lot of them will be ready to split, which is absolutely contrary to what you'll read uh, in any, any of your beginning books or mm -hmm. the videos and things. If you can maintain them, get them into a good situation to start, these bees can really can explode and really exceed your expectations. So I'm excited to see what happens yeah. next, and we're looking forward to having you along on the journey. Okay, it's been four days since we installed our packages. We usually wait between three and five days to come back, check on the queen, uh, make sure that she's out. So we're gonna go ahead and go through some hives and see how she's doing. Take our feeder off, crack open our hive, take a look. Lots of bees in there, like to see that. And you can see right there where our queen cage is. Just give them a little bit of smoke. Take a look here. So they're all covered in bees. Shake them off, take a look. Nothing's inside. You can see emergency cork is still in place, but where our candy is, she's out completely. So they are good to go. So what we're gonna gently do, just gently push these frames back together. And for right now, I'm not gonna do anything else. All I need to do is make sure she's out. So you can see how calm and gentle these bees are. They're not upset. Tells me they've got a queen. They're good to go. Put our lid back on. Put our feeder back on. Let's go on to the next one. See what we see. Pull off our pail feeder. Take off our lid. Lots of bees. Excellent. Give them a little smoke. Pull the cage. Up, oh, everybody's out. So you see it's open right here. So they're good to go. Gently push these frames back. The big thing is you don't want to get what the fat bee man calls tinkeritis. It's really easy when you're a beginning beekeeper. You want to get in here, you want to see the queen, you want to talk to her. I get it, we've all been there. But let's give the bees a little bit of time to get going before we're constantly in there ripping things apart. I was hoping to show you one here. Let's try to find one. Maybe the queen didn't get out or she's trapped. Let's see if we can even find one. Take our feeder off, take our lid off. Frame out here, take this frame out here. And you can see right here where our queen's at. Let's see here. Oh, there's the candy. Oh, she's they're almost eight through, but not all the way. This one got installed about a day later. So right now this has been in for uh, about two and a half, almost three days. Let's see if she's in. Oh, and there's the queen. The queen is still in there. So let me show you what we do when the queen is still in there. We're gonna take the cork out on the emergency side. So if this was a package or a split and you're using your cage, if you see that She's not out, let's help her out here. Pull that cork, we're gonna watch her run. Okay, so let's go ahead and close this up. Put the lid back on. For right now, we're gonna leave that four frames. Sometimes, if you spend too much time watching that queen run out, she'll fly up. Most of the time, she'll fly right back in. But let's not even take that chance right now. What we're gonna do is close them back up. So I hope that helps. You got to see installing the packages, coming back the next day to take the shaker boxes down, and coming back down three to five days later to check up on those cages to make sure they're released. Just about everything, they were already released. They're already in the boxes at four days, and so even starting to lay. It may take them seven days sometimes to start laying, depending on how much nectar and pollen's coming in. Uh, on this particular box here, she's been in about two and a half, almost three days, and she was just about released. So we were already in here in the bee yard. We're already working. Go ahead and released her, let her out. She ran right down in there. We'll let them get off to a good start. We'll check back on them in a few days as well. So I hope the video helps that you get a better idea of what a package is, how to install them, how to check up on them, and hopefully that gets your beekeeping season off to a good start. Thanks for watching.
We'll see you next time, guys. Hey, can you help us out? Hit like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and be sure to check these great videos out too.